y'all, it's Heather, and I'm so excited because I have the new Unearthly Cosmetics Gargoyle Palette. This is so cute. We're gonna be doing two looks together. I'm gonna be doing swatches. Unearthly did send me this palette. I ordered all of the rest of the collection though because they're gonna have some other items. I will link the Unearthly site down below because listen, I bought it all. I love Unearthly. They're one of my favorites. Look at this gargoyle on the front. This is kind of different packaging for the brand. It's a little more cartoony than what I'm used to from them. So I think it's fun to see something different. And then opening it up and seeing the inside, we have a beautiful, beautiful, cool tone palette. We have a nice row of like neutrals with shimmers. Then we have like a muted kind of green and gray and purple. And then we get into some blues and blacks. So I think this is a really interesting color story. We have a lot of different textures and formulas in here, some multi-chromes, some shimmers, lots of different reflects, lots of really, really beautiful shades. And I'm excited to show you the two looks I created. I did this more neutrally look and I did a more colorful look. So we're gonna have fun, we're gonna play if you're ever shopping the Unearthly site, you can use code Heather to get a discount, but I'm really excited to kind of share my looks with you on this palette because I think the textures and the formulas in here are so insanely gorgeous. So let's cut to the eye looks. As are primed, and we are gonna start with this beautiful gargoyle palette using this shade right here. This kind of really light, almost like muted pastel-y green called Grim Morning. This is a very light color, but look how pigmented it is. I mean, it's light. So I chose a light eyeshadow primer. I'm testing this new one from Ulta, but I want to start with this color because I think it's just light and like, like I said, it's like a pastel, but like a dirty pastel. It's got this pretty like mutedness about it. So I just kind of want to fluff this all around. Next, I'm gonna go into this beautiful purple color. Just doing a deep outer corner. I'm gonna flare this shade out just a little bit like this and then in. I'm pressing this off my brush first and then I will slowly, slowly start to blend right out here. I'll also bring this to my lower lash line just in the outer corner right here. I'm gonna take this purple in pretty far across my lash line. I just feel like that's so pretty that I wanna kind of pull it in further. I just like, I need more of the purple because <laughs> I think that color is really gorgeous. This shimmer right here looks so beautiful and like shifty. I know you already saw the swatches, but like, I don't know if it will even capture in the mirror. It's so pretty. I've got to use this like on my lid. I I've got to, no choice about it. I picked the shadow up on my brush and then I sprayed my brush with a little setting spray. So now I'm gonna go in all in this kind of blank space on my lid. I'm gonna bring it up to the socket. I'm gonna let it cover that kind of light green shade, but I'm not gonna cover the deep purple matte. I'm just gonna blend right up to it, but I'm kind of pressing first, you see, and then I blend. That way I make sure I've got all that pigment off my brush. Mm, that is such a pretty color. And I think that kind of like fade to the matte is really beautiful too. I wanna to put just a little bit of the shade Darkest Hour on my lower lash line. This is a really, really beautiful deep dark navy matte and I think it's gonna look so pretty smudged into the lashes. I wanna highlight my inner corner with this shade right here. It's so pretty, it's called Eerie Echoes. I'm just gonna press this right here on the inner corner. It's really pretty because it's like this white, green, blue, teal also maybe like a little bit of like i don't know gold it has a really pretty reflex to it so i'm just gonna pop that right there and then i will finish up my look with liner i don't know if i will do a lash all right y'all here's the finished look i put on a little bit of eyeliner and then i just did mascara i decided to skip a false lash but i really really like this look i'm gonna start off with this shade right here this deep dark brown i'm just gonna press this shade all in my socket i'm starting with this deep color first and i'm gonna press it right on top of my eyeshadow primer i'm taking the shadow down to my lid in this outer portion i'm taking it up out and I'm gonna blend more in a minute, so I'm not too worried about my blend being perfect right now. I wanna take this shade underneath my lower lash line too. I just kinda wanna kinda wrap it all around. 
I'm gonna buff things out with this shade right here, this beautiful mid-tone brown. This is called Ancient Spire. I've just got this on a fluffy brush. I'm using just a little bit of shadow and I'm going to lightly blend. I don't wanna put a lot of pressure down. I don't wanna put a ton of shadow down. I just wanna use a little bit to buff, buff, buff. I wanna use these two shades right here, but I'm gonna start with the deeper one called Menacing. These have a really pretty like shift and reflect to them. So I wanna put these both on my lid. I sprayed my brush with setting spray after my brush already had the shadow on it. And I'm placing Menacing right in the center of my lid, just kind of straight here. And then once I have all the shadow off my brush, I will lightly blend it into that matte shade right there, just like that. This is the shade Guardian, and I wanna put that on the inner part of my lid. It's going in a small space, but I just wanted to use these two shades together. I think they're gonna look so beautiful on the lid. And I'm gonna bring it up high, like above my socket, because I wanna be able to see this shade. I just think it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Awaken, and this is probably maybe one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's so beautiful and pigmented and smooth and honestly just stunning. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna highlight the inner corner and then I'm gonna do liner and a lash and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed seeing the swatches and the two looks. I think this is the beautiful unearthly eyeshadow quality that I know, love and expect from the brand. This is such a pretty cool toned, like grungy blue purple neutral color story and I'm just super happy with both the looks I created and I'm really looking forward to playing with it more. I really think Unearthly does a great job on their color stories, their formulas, all of their shadows are just so easy to work with, so pigmented, so beautiful. Something else I wanted to point out is that Unearthly ships their palettes in these really nice protective boxes. They have the artwork on the cover of the box which I think is a really nice touch and they have this really great foam padding inside so you don't to worry about your palette getting broken. I want to give you all some helpful comparisons. So I want to show you this palette next to the Dreamer palette. This is a gorgeous palette that Unearthly released earlier this year. I absolutely love it. And I think it would pair really, really beautifully with Gargoyle. You have the purples and the blues. You do have some neutrals and some grays, but they are all different shades, no repeating shades. Here is Gargoyle next to their Dead of Night palette. You can see that Dead of Night is a lot more bright and colorful. The shades are a lot more vibrant even the deep shades, they're just a different tone, more intense and different. I did want to show you these two together and I think they would be really, really beautiful combined for a look. I would love to know if you picked this palette up, what you think of the color story. Are you excited for these new fall releases? Because I totally am. Make sure you stick around. I have lots of other videos on makeup here on my channel. I can and do talk about makeup all the time. Check out some of my other unearthly videos, some of my other eyeshadow tutorials, and I'll see you next time.